It is now winter, and life is normal. Life is good. All is how it should be now for the family vision. Vivian replays her last conversation with CK while brushing her hair. Vin, as always, recites his poetry and plays with his new dog, Sparky. Virginia plays her favorite song, Row Your Boat, on the stainless Steinway, and Vision clears snow out of the walkway in the front yard. A normal life for a normal family. Once, long after he created Vision, Ultron attacked the Avengers for perhaps the fifth or sixth time and was ultimately defeated. The remains of the robot were deposited in a scrapyard in Los Angeles. Years later, Marianella Mancha was digging through the scrapyard for metal to use for an architectural project. Miss Mancha found Ultron's head. It spoke to her, and she took it home. Miss Mancha confided in Ultron's head that she was physically unable to have children. Ultron offered Miss Mancha a fair exchange. If Miss Mancha helped Ultron build a body, then Ultron would help her build a son. Miss Mancha accepted, and the construction of Victor Mancha began. Ultron gave Victor false memories and enhanced organs and blood. As such, the day he was turned on, Victor believed himself to be a normal 16-year-old boy. Victor discovered his true nature when a group of runaway superheroes confronted him during a high school football practice. They said they had information from the future. Victor's robotic body will eventually allow him to manipulate the forces of magnetism. Years from now, with this power, under the name Victorious, Victor will join the Avengers. Once he is accepted and trusted as a member of the team, his original programming will deactivate and he will betray his friends and teammates. He will kill them all. He will kill their families. He will raise the world. Behold, Victor Mancha, son of Ultron, brother of Vision. Of course, Victor chose to fight against his destiny. He joined the Runaways and used his powers to crush his creator. Later, he joined the Avengers, serving with Vision on a team known as Avengers AI. Victor worked hard to emulate his brother. He felt that if he could just be like the Vision, noble and strong like the Vision, then he would never become victorious. But that was some time ago. Now. Victor visits his brother Vision and his new family in order to share new stories and catch up on old times. One story that Victor shared with the family that night involved Hank Pym, his and Vision's grandfather. It is funny, one would normally not imagine, but Ant-Man's voice is significantly higher than one would think. His voice reminded Victor of a second-hand microwave with all of its squeaks, beeps, and assortments of random sounds. The family vision all laugh with amusement when the server arrives to check in on them one last time. They are fine, Vision tells her. They will just need to take the water and a check after 45 minutes if that's fine with her. After their dinner conversation, the family vision flies home together. One after another, they land back in their front yard. Victor cannot help but praise his brother on his beautiful family. Vin, Viv, his wife Virginia, they really are perfect. Victor has to admit it, he's a little jealous. Vision was unprepared for the honesty, but he returns by telling Victor that he, in fact, is jealous of him. It is true that Vision has a beautiful wife and children, but Victor is the one with the hair. Over the next few weeks, Victor became increasingly closer with the family. He would play the piano with Virginia. She downloaded notes and motions to thousands of songs, so playing should be easy for her, but for some reason, it isn't. 
She stands up and gently caresses the water vase of Zenla before she tells Victor that she feels empty. The only time she could feel something, feel anything, is when she played her piano. And now, she feels nothing at all. Victor also takes time to hang out with Vin. The two play basketball at the park. Victor understands Vin. He understands why Vin thinks he has the need to spew Shakespeare whenever he gets the chance. When Victor was younger, he was obsessed with Don Quixote of La Mancha. But there's a time and place for everything. If Vin keeps going at this pace, he will definitely stay an outcast at school. Speaking of school, Victor also accompanies Vivian to the visit the grave of CK. She has been visiting the site alone for a long time. She appreciates her uncle for joining her this day. Victor went to high school, so he understands more than her parents can. He did try to dissuade her for visiting, but he came nonetheless. The two sit in silence as the sun slowly descends past the horizon and the darkness of night coats the town. Victor and Vision visit a nearby art gallery to examine the new exhibit. Art is fascinating. A good piece will have the viewer captivated, pondering existence and what life truly means. The brothers gaze at a piece and strike up a conversation. Victor thanks Vision for taking him in for the winter and for his family's hospitality. Victor wonders if any of it will ever get to Vision. His family is so perfect that Vision must do anything to protect him. Victor would. But that is the tricky part. Sometimes when you can do anything, it is hard to just do nothing. That night, from the silence of his room in the attic, Victor makes a call to the Avengers. He tells Captain America that his mission isn't taking too long because the Vision doesn't trust him. He has Vision's trust. He has the whole family's trust. So it can't be that. It's just that Vision never talks about the Reaper, the Kinski father, the plans, or anything. Even so, Victor is determined to uphold his mission and get the information for the team. That is when Vin, who had been playing fetch with Sparky, walks in. In order to silence him, Victor attacks. At the end of this story, Victor Macho will be all that stands between Vision and the destruction of the world. On that day, he will die. And as he dies, as his system fails and he falls to Vision's feet, as the last electrodes of light pops black in his left eye, Victor Macho will smile. Yes, he will think. Yes, I have defied destiny. I have fought back fate. I am a hero, just like my brother. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I shall not be victorious. <laughs>